Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, bro, bro, bro. Oh god. Uh, bro. I need to get out. I need to get out here. What is this? Hello everybody, welcome back to another No Man's Sky episode and today um, I'm in the new system So as you can see here, I'm in the Yugbi system And this, I came to the system because I went through the Atlas portal when I met the Atlas And yeah, ever since then I came, I just teleported into the system I, I came to, I came from Porygon Prime which is why I already discovered the planet, but we'll go back there to explore the whole system as I'll be doing for this whole, you know, for this whole uh, No Man's Sky series. So let, let's actually, you know, let's talk to this guy since we can grab the left. <coughs> Thank you. Um, so without wasting any time, let's go to exploration time. So the UB system. Um, yeah, six planets, no moons this time, like the previous one at the Kakaoshi SV. So, let's try to find Porygon Prime first. It's not Porygon, oh, that's Porygon Prime, okay. Let's go here first. Uh, it was the first planet we discovered, the, the planet we, we, we spawned on, we teleported from or in. So well, this planet looks to be a very watery planet. Uh, it's a it has a very unique composition. The, the surface it's very uh, unusual, unusual setting in geography. You will see what I mean later on. It's not like a normal. Well, yeah, it looks pretty nice. I'm not sure if it's. Oh, it's gone. Okay. Um, yesterday when I played, there were like this hexagon. I think so. I'm not sure what it was it, but it's, it looks like it's gone now. I think that was a, a, a sentinel event because it was full of sentinels as well yesterday. So that was pretty weird. But hey, it looks pretty nice actually. Well, I have not built a base yet. So yeah, we are, here is Porygon Prime. Intermittent wind blasting is the weather. And um, oh, this one. Okay. So it's a pretty. It looks like a pretty nice. Um, Place actually compared to yesterday when I played, it was full of like these weird, weird structures. I'm not sure what is it called, um, but yeah, it was filled, and then it was full of sentinels as well. It was dangerous, so but yeah, it looks like it's cleared today, and it's full of sodium, pyrite, and copper. And let's see what's it was well, 830 million years ago. The hydrogen is the atmosphere, and high nanite clusters content in soil. So yeah, this is Oregon Prime, a desert planet. What's the little guy doing here? Taxi gate. Oh, let's go there. Um, so yeah, my mission currently is to basically build a cadmium drive, uh, which, is a, which is a type of hyperdrive. And basically, I need that. Uh, this is it. Uh, we, we can basically do it anytime soon. And uh, we need that because we need to go to a red star and we have to um this too. So cadmium and the mine arc. And we need the salt engine for the mine arc. So yeah, that's why. And we need glass as well. Now we actually have cadmium for one of the things, but I think it would be better for us to go to a red system. And we need we need that on from the cadmium there. So yeah, it's a pretty cool planet. Um, I might consider building a base here. Hold on, that thing as well. Yeah, it is pretty nice. So that is Porygon Prime, a desert planet. And uh, we are going off right now, and we are going to go into one of the other planets. Pretty sure Porygon Prime is the biggest planet. What was that? cool that's rare huh. oh yeah Porygon Prime is the biggest planet of the of the six 
so that's it that's pretty nice uh, let's go over there not sure what pen is that I don't know it's less less hot but apparently it's sentinel uh, full of sentinels Hey, new alley. That's, it was very similar geography to the Fogum Prime. Let's land like above here, shall we? But it's full of sentinels, so we have to be wary. Oh, I saw two stars on something. Not sure what was that. Oh, it's already 52 degrees. It's not even day. Burning air, sentinels hateful. That is not good. Oh, gravity nobles. High security planet. Ah, there it is. Let's let's walk around. Let's take a walk for a while. You know? let's see what we have. I'm going here. What is that? That is a Bermionosa. It's passive. I've not seen a, a, an aggressive. I've not seen an aggressive animal type. A biological entity. Which is always a Doka. Docile. Doka? Yeah, I don't think we make it a base here for the um, main fact that it is a hot planet and it's full of sentinels. So, not really the, the most prime position for the, a base. What is that? So I still think Pardon Prime is uh, the better better base. And before we before we you know before we do take some of these gravity no balls and get that out of here. Let's go. Oh shit, that is not good, that is not good. Bitch! Okay, I think we need to fight them first. Oh, there's four of them. Oh my god. Yelfus XIX. It's a Hymel planet. I'm not sure what it is, but it is high sensitivity activity as well. Not good. Not what we we'll want. Anyway. So this is oh, it's a mega fifty. Okay, it's a cold planet. This one. Weather is crisp. Sentinels are enforcing, which means they're not uh, aggressive as. Laura is full and Fauna is pretty full as well. What do you have? We have copper dioxide and sodium, so nothing really not be interesting. They have frost crystals. Oh we need frost crystals actually. We actually need frost crystals for the uh, glass if I'm not wrong. So glass, yeah we need we need like 120 of them, so let's So if we can find some frost crystals. Frost Frost crystals, that'll be good. Yeah, I don't know what this frost crystal looks like exactly. I'll check. Okay, but um, yeah, it's okay. We can always come back to this planet. So this planet is what to take note of for the future. Let's wait, you know what, I'm gonna go try, oh, whoa. I'll try and go like a bit nearer. You see what looks like it could be a frost crystal. Just keep me across this, you know. Oh, that looks interesting. 
Do I beat it? It could be a frost pistol. Oh, those are frost. Okay, frost wood. Uh, I think frost words. Oh, we need a hazmat. Okay, no wonder. Uh, I think we ha we have that. We can make that. Sodium nitrate. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we need sodium nitrate. So we need the bottle refiner. Basically, I'm gonna do it now. Since why not? Okay, so once we get this, we'll be able to have the ice crystals, uh, the frost crystals, I mean, then we need 120 of that to make 3 glass. Because, yeah, 1 needs 40 and we need, I'm pretty sure we need, yeah, we need 3 glass for the mine arc. And then after that, we just need the solar engine, which we need a living pearl. So a living pearl, basically, we get it from, we get it from, oh, we get it from, uh, like, a clam. I, I found it before underwater actually. So uh, I'm not sure if we can find it again. Okay, I'm pretty sure now we can do this. Cool. That's pretty nice. Okay. Oh that's a lot of frost pistols, that's pretty good. Yeah, we have plenty by then. We already have how much? Yeah, 82. We just need a few more. I think we just go to that uh, other place there. So I forgot to check this. It's 6.25 billion years old. That's a very long planet. Long time ago. There's tanium, tanium 9 dioxide. And it's a brittle planetary crust. I mean, what's to be expected considering it's 6 billion years old? That's a long time. Nice. Oh, there's a sentinel nearby. This is a lot. More than more than enough. I'm gonna take all this in case we do need. Okay, the sentinel's pretty far away. So I just like the other one, um It is sentinel protected. Uh, they won't budge unless you do something like you disturb them, if I'm not wrong. It should be fine. How much have we got? We have 543. That's more than enough to be able to make glass. So that is two out of the three items we have for the mine arc. Uh, just to be con just to be sure again, the mine arc is this. We need this for our mission to revive Artemis. And the soul engine, we need that. We need cadmium. Cadmium we can find in red planetary systems with a red star and uh, we need that so uh, we need the cadmium hyperdrive so the cadmium hyperdrive is ah uh, we need to get closer we can make that anytime soon so basically we can go to a red uh, planetary system but i don't want to go there yet because i want to explore the system before we go there so yeah we're looking pretty nice i think in terms of the actual solar engine yeah we just need a living pole once we get that, I think, once you get a living pool, you need one from a clam. Yeah, I know, I forgot which planet was it that I got the living pool from. Sentinels. Okay, it's been productive time here, we got part of our mission that we need to. So it's time to go Yelfus XIX to another system. I mean to another planet. Conflict dangerous, economy prosperous. Okay. Oh I think those are the other two. So we have left three more planets. I think that is Borgen Prime. That is New Ali and then that is the last planet I believe. So let's go to this one first. One minute. So some of the planets are actually spaced far apart. Let's see what it is. It's a wow, Randoragu Sapo. And it's a rocky planet. High sentinel activity again. 
uh, activated copper, I'm not sure what's that. So it's pyrite, magnetized ferrite, and a high uh, and activated copper. High sentinel activity. So once again, very high sentinel activity in most of these areas. Hey. Contraband probe in progress. Oh, let's go, Kokam. Oh, really? Now we had contraband at one point of time. Yeah, we had contraband at one point of time. I, I think like one of the other, other system. Oh yeah, the, the previous system, the Kagasi XI. We actually pushes up to our contraband of the black market, so that's pretty close. Whoa, what is this? This is interesting. We just, we literally just came upon this. Let's land. Okay, so we've reached uh, Ran Randuragu Sapo, the rocky planet. Extreme wind blasting. That doesn't sound good. Fauna rich and flora infrequent. Require obedience. Okay. So it is a hot planet as I expected. Extreme wind blast. Oh. Randorago Sapo. Hey, what's up, Mike? Don't need pop new anymore. Thank you. Okay. Um. Artifact exchange. We don't have that. Oh, fire warning. Do you have a colossal? Uh, return the ship to- Let's join the defense! Let's join the defense, lads! Where is it? Oh, we had the firestorm as well. We had to get back to our ship, actually. Yeah, it's coming, it's coming. Oh, there's pirates. It's right there. Pirate raid. Let's go. Yeah, we have extreme storm. Oops. Yeah, that was close. I can't see anything, mate. Oh, there you are. Nice. There are like other spaceships in the air as well. I'm not sure. I don't think these are real players. I don't know if they are. I don't think they are. Oh! Oh! Complete. Oh. Nice. Okay, there's one more. It's done. Bro, I cannot see a thing. I don't think you guys can see a thing too. Okay, where the hell? Okay, there's another fright. Fright then. Bro, where is the up? Okay, okay. We, uh down there okay i still want to explore this place though find the freaking there there we go oh that's not it what the i thought i swear i saw the, the landing space what is there okay i'm gonna explore a bit once again this place 123 Mad, you know. Oh, that is not good. Holy shit! Look at the look at how hot it is. Man, nah, there's no way I'm getting out there. Okay, I think it's nope. It's still going. Oops. Okay, it looks like it's cleared. It's still hot. Okay. Let's head in. What is this? Ancestral vault? Oh. 
where pathetic oh the crypt archive progress of wounded broken creatures within the death cries are logic some communion to forget the pain they shall not help us the jack so these are like different tribes of the area like the the people so there's the gag viking and the corvax so gag the base occurs like a reprieve when you're not honored to replace it and the asian was followed what they found us in the grass deliverance tell me friends have you heard the testament of Nal? Nal is not dead they heard they live still at the right hand of god courage sure you can they will not leave the alice light the devotion will never fade run through this oblivious spirit spot okay not sure what that was all about so yeah i think that's all that we have here so it's been a pleasure randa ragu sapo a weird name indeed it's so not a uh, good little planet as well but yeah off we go the rain was pretty nice though mm. that is what is planet Eto etorcure etorcure Mias miasmatic planet, I'm not sure what is that. High sentiment activity again. Copper, ammonia and salt this time. Fungal mole. Mm. Off down we go. Huh. Interesting, interesting indeed. Earth like. That's the first thought comes into mind very very earth like looks pretty good actually i won't lie weather toxic outbreaks however doesn't look good oh it's very toxic very very toxic regular patrols flora high fauna high echo cure ring soul is very beautiful yeah toxic planet this is the first toxic planet i ever encountered so that's that's cool Okay, so this is Etokyor. Nothing much. It looks, it's a very unique planet though. It looks very different from what I discovered, but uh, it doesn't, we can't make a base here. The first priority for me is for the base is that it has to be an atmosphere, so no, uh, it can't be a low atmosphere planet. Uh, it can't have any like any toxin or it can't be too hot, it can't be too cold. It has to be a nice temperature so like my uh not life support the, the, no, no protection is needed basically so no hazard protection needed and no other thing i'm not sure what it was and no protection needed basically so can't be hot can't be cold can't be toxic but yeah this was at tokyo unique planet not gonna lie but off to the final planet of the UB system. One minute, god damn. There is Aguaro Aguaro Beta. Mutated planet. Aggressive sentinels. This might be a low atmosphere planet, because it's way out of the way. Uh mutated planet, gamma root, activated copper uranium. The oh we have enough uranium actually. So I think this planet might actually be a low atmosphere planet. I'm gonna call it first. Oh, I don't think so. Thinking about it. Probably a low atmosphere planet. Might have called it right again. Aguaro Beta. Yeah, maybe it's not. Yeah, I don't think it's a low atmosphere. So let's see. Um, what? What do we have? Planet white radiation storms. God damn! Hostile patrol. Disease generous. What is up with this system? Oh god, bro, bro. Oh, oh god. Oh 
Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, bro, bro, bro. Oh, oh shit. Oh god. Oh, uh, bro. I need to get out. I need to get out of here. What is this? Not good. Did I just die? Radioactive supercell approaching. Oh, I want. I need to see this. Ouch! I think my health. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, look at that! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Look at that! Radiation to the roof. This is not the planet to be at. Holy bro! I need to see that. I need to get out of this. Bro! This is insane! Holy shit, they're This is mad. I I need to get back into me into my spaceship. Insane. Supercell storm. Wow. Okay, I think yeah that's how cute. Crazy. Look, what an insane planet. Really really insane planet. Bro, I, I love the sound effects it makes when you go through like these storms. That is crazy. This system is so, so bad. So many problems. Sentinels activity. Yeah, I think Porygon Prime is like the only suitable planet. This is mad. Instant, inst the, the moment we landed, to be remind to remind you, we were instantly attacked by sentinels. I almost died. I actually died. My my life, my health went down. Wow, crazy storm. Crazy crazy storm. Mutated planet. A uh, planet white radiation storms. That is crazy. Five billion years ago, bombarded by cosmic rays. Wow. Okay. I guess you see it. That is the U. That is the U B system. And that is. That's that. What the hell? What planet is that? That's the. Aguaro Beta. So we're gonna go back to Poison Prime because that is the only planet suitable for life, seems like. Where's it called Poison Prime? There. At least Poison Prime is like in the middle of everything. Okay, we reach Poison Prime again. Um, I think I'm going to just make a base here. This looks like this would be a nice spot for a base. Yeah, there's only intermittent wind blasting. No sentinels. Um, although... Okay, I think we can just ignore that. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to make a base here and then I'll end... Uh, I, I think I'm just going to end the episode right here and now the a base, so... Thank you for joining me again. Uh, I do enjoy recording these episodes. Uh, so yeah, if you guys do enjoy, do leave a like. And leave a comment, you subscribe, do subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Bye bye. Look at that. Pretty cool.